The gentlelady from Washington is recognized for two minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise in opposition to this dangerous budget proposal. With many working families and businesses still struggling to adapt to a rapidly changing economy, our top priority in Congress should be to help expand opportunities and sustain long-term economic growth and security so no American is left behind as we forge new paths ahead. To spur robust job growth, we must invest in our education system to provide the training and skills workers need to be prepared for the jobs of today and tomorrow. We should invest in infrastructure that will put people to work and make our communities better places to do business. And we should invest in growing a strong middle class, the backbone of our economy. But instead, we're debating a budget that will go nowhere in the Senate simply so it can be used as a vehicle to give the wealthiest Americans a massive tax cut on the backs of middle class families. This reckless budget cuts early childhood, K through 12, and higher education programs, as well as job training and apprenticeships. It guts nutrition assistance, which provides benefits to more than 43 million Americans a year, almost half of whom are children. And it continues the destructive cycle of neglecting our already crumbling infrastructure, even though we know the longer we wait, the more costly repairs will be in the future and the less economically competitive our communities will be. Slashing programs that help working families in order to line the pockets of the wealthiest Americans has never led to jobs or economic growth, and it never will. Every dollar we spend is a reflection of our values, which is why I'm deeply disappointed that this budget demonstrates an utter disregard for middle-class Americans, a lack of vision for what our future could look like with smart, targeted investments, and a complete lack of empathy for the most vulnerable. I urge my colleagues to vote no, and I yield back.